Hi, welcome to the best of IP Mat series. Today, what we are going to see is a question on number system. We have picked this question up from IP Mat 2021 short answer section. So let's see the question. I will recommend that you pause the video, give it a shot, and then see the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. Okay. So now if you have to find the solution to this question, the simplest possible way is to find all the integers which will divide the given number, subtract the integers which are multiples of 45 and therefore you will end up with integers which are not multiples of 45. Now in the question they have used the word integers but you know that actually it is a question on number of factors. So the first thing that you do is find the number of factors of this given number. Then find the number of factors which are multiples of 45 within that and subtract and you are ready with your answer. So that is the way that we are going to go ahead. So if I have to find, if I have to rather write the given number in its prime factor form, what do we do? Uh, the first thing that you should do is you can see a 0 here, you can see a 0 here, here and here. So which means there are three tens, which means the first thing that you do, let us just call this guy as n. So the first thing we are for sure is that there are three twos and three fives. Okay, so two cube and five cube is for sure because we can see three tens. And I can see a 13 and a 17 which are prime and not further factorizable. So we can just write 13 raised to 1 and 17 raised to 1. Now let us look at 189. Now 189, uh, by just by the look of it, you should understand that it is a multiple of 3 if nothing else. Okay, so it is 63 into 3. Uh, 63 itself is 21 into 3 and 21 is 7 into 3 which means you know that there is one 7 and then there are three threes. Okay, so this is the prime factor form of the given number. Again, you obviously could have written it and done it in multiple steps, but I would advise that you think more, write less. Great. Okay, so let us find out the total number of factors of this guy n. Okay, so it is going to be 4 into 4 into 2, 2, 2 and a 4. Correct. So, this is the first is 2 raised to 2. So, we have 2 powers of 2 here, 2 powers of 2 here, which makes it 4. Then a 5, 6, 7 and 8, 9. So, we have 2 raised to 9, which is nothing but 5, 1, 2. Okay. So, there are 512, 512 factors of the given number. Now, the next step, we need to find out factors which are multiples of 45. Factors which are multiples of 45, what you should do? You should just divide that number by 45 and again find the factors. Dividing a number by 45 is as good as, uh, if you remember, you just cancel or rather subtract the powers of the factors of 45. So you know that 45 is nothing but 3 square into 5, 9 into 5, 45, so 3 square into 5. So from the original uh, prime factors, we should reduce the powers of 3 by 2 and powers of 5 by 1. So if I just rewrite that whole thing again, okay, uh, if I just rewrite this thing again, what I am going to get, 2 cube stays as it is, uh, 5 becomes a square, 5, the power of 5 now becomes a square, 13 stays as it is, 17 stays as it is, 7 stays as it is and 3 now becomes only power 1, okay. So this is the form which when n is divided by 45, we get this, okay. So if we have to find the factors of this guy, it is going to be 4 into 3 into 2, 2, 2 and a 2. So how many uh, powers of 2 do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6. So it is 2 raised to 6 which is 64 and 64 into 3. 64 into 3 is going to be 190. So we have 192 factors which are multiples of 45 and hence numbers which are not divisible by 45 are going to be 512 minus 192. So the answer is 320. So that is your answer 320. 
so if you would have if you could have rather done the whole factor calculation in your head uh, or factorization in your head this sum would have been pretty pretty simple and as it is you know that when you are taking an ip mat indoor exam for sure you are not really really pressed for time you do have time so these questions are definitely in the doable category so i hope you understood this question and make sure that you see the replica question give it a shot and put your answer in the comments we will give you the answer in 24 hours see you and happy solving